hello and welcome to Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now, this is me, Leonard. Is me, and in the last episode, we went over to this place and we've met the famous water monster that scared shitless YouTubers. It even got me scared at that time. Anyways, now I have no idea where I'm going next and everything, so. I should shut up and start walking around where should I go and stop looking at my monitor for the video for skipping because it's actually kind of disorientated. I should pay attention to what's going on. Alright, so what's going on down there? Something? Ah, oh, that looks uh, kind of convenient. Storage. Okay, I don't want to go to the storage yet. Alright. Boy. Up. Uh, okay, I'm pressing the leaning button. Uh, why am I pressing E? Why am I pressing the front flashlight? Mouse click. There you go. Man, I've been playing too much Oblivion. Like. Like, um. I use my E button to, like, interact with stuff, and it's really sketching me out. Like, it's like, oh, I'm pressing the E button to try to close that door. Oh, no, it's not closing that door. Oh, what's going on over there? Is that an elevator that I could go home? No, it's a flashback. You have an ascending room. Would it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes. yes. The Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can okay. view the panorama. The power Good. What? This ride might be a little longer. How long? And in the other direction. Oh no. Is it going to the wrong direction? Oh, okay, let's just go to the elevator home then. Uh, I'm not pressing E. Not working. Come on! Why am I having a flashback with an elevator that is working, which is currently not working? Oh well. Let me just check. Notes? No. Momentum. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Okay, seems basic enough. Let's go. Oh, hello, lion. You're looking pretty good today. Thank you, lion. You're very welcome, lion. 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 Machine room. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. It's locked too. Who's in charge of the security of this place to lock rooms like this? Oh well. Where else should I go? The storage? Alright. Probably. Let's just go anyways. Because I'm not bothering checking up stairs. There's doors. There's chairs. And a treasure chest. Yup. Yup. Oh, tinderbox. Tinderbox. Give me them. Give me them. Oil. I'll take that too. Alright. For a second, I thought the my OBS said I've been recording too high. Alright, let me just find my inventory. There you go. How I still got the how needle from. I don't know. I still got these things. A few cut and bruises. Crystal clear. I really don't think that my head will be crystal clear after seeing the water monster. My oil is... I may as well use some. Alright. Alright. I'm fine. Let's just brave upstairs now. Okay. Guest room. Well, sure am ready to guess. He climbed out of bed and looked out the min a window. It was complete dark. He had wait. Glance the, at the old clock and wait some more. Four o'clock, he thought it's enough. Oh, flashbacks. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Your mom's picture? Or something? What kind of a mess am I dealing with over here? It's not the E button. Huh. Is there mangas in there? That kinda look like a manga. No, it's not a manga? Bah! 
Okay. Let's just start with the manga jokes. Storage. Okay, oh, kind of What happened here? Someone partied a little too hard. What's inside this? Some clothes. More clothes. Books. Power of knowledge, kids. Read your books. Oh. Crowbar. Okay. Tinderbox. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. 2nd of July, oh. 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. Really? He was badly injured, as if because... maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French how, quickly how dispatched horrible? a search party to look for the expedition. Yeah. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Maybe you should stop worrying and probably face the fact that he is dead. Point final. The Français are going here. Eh. Baguette. A uh, story stuck due to a broken lock. Oh, well, maybe the, Fr the smart Frenchman could use a crowbar here. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Okay. The pulp. The key. Please let it be here. What key? Someone partied a little too hard about the key. I should probably close that. Okay. What note? Third of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug okay. through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. Am this I... account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Am I... Uh, there's too many things happening. One, am I part of the orb or something? Is... Am I the orb or that narrator is the orb? Two, what's behind this painting? Oh, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. <laughs> Cleverly thought, random person. Okay. Oh, it's a key in the bottle. Picked up the machine room key. To be honest, I was kind of scared. I should. No, don't go there. Yes, go there. What's behind this? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Find a better place to hide. No, you have no means to defend thyself. Eh. Oh god, closet! I... 
just press the button. Just press the button. Am I safe? Hello? Am I safe? Monster? Monster? Oh, where's the book? Book? Monster? <laughs> I should try not to draw any attention to the monster. I got the book. Monster? Okay. Let's just go there. I should stop pressing the E button. <sighs> he panted heavily, trying his best to keep... Do keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet has been overrun and laid claps on the floor. And I didn't read the, my, the rest. Ugh. Let's just not go with it. That's a nice little present you left me there. Is that some kind of foreshadowing that I'm going to die? Although, he did one big mess. Alright. Got the key for the machine room. So maybe we'll go there now. <laughs> machine room. Machine room. Machine room. Machine room. I should stop pressing E. Alright. This seems like a nice place to stop right now. And yeah. This is me, Lion Artie is me. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. Do all those nice things. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Squeaky chair. Squeaky chair. Squeaky chair. Squeaky chair.